I'm your senior reporter, Danny Valle, and I'm here in Hillsdale County, where as you can see behind me, there's a memorial growing for Sheriff's Deputy Bill Butler Jr., a man killed in the line of duty in a traffic stop. I don't know. I probably don't know. Does it shock you that there's this much love for him? No, not one bit. Flags at half staff means morning is underway. It, it was a new experience for me, and I never want to experience this again. Flowers, food, and faith can heal, but it can't bring back Hillsdale County Sheriff's Deputy Bill Butler Jr. There were a lot of people that loved that man, and this is just everyone coming together to show it. Law enforcement says Butler was shot Thursday during a traffic stop in Jefferson Township involving 34-year-old Eric Fiddler. Fiddler ran off, triggering a three-hour manhunt. Officials say that as Michigan State Police approached him at a field near Colbert and Osseo Roads, he fired a gunshot. Law enforcement fired back, killing Fiddler at the scene, and Butler passed away at a hospital. I'm glad the man that shot him is no longer with us either because that's one less problem we will have in the future. He actually helped me load my groceries into the car. Desiree Blair knew Butler for 16 years, growing up with two of his kids. When she lost her father, Butler offered both comfort and guidance. Butler really just helped me focus on my mental health and to see what my best route in life was during that time, while also finding out that I was going to be a mother. Without him, I'm not sure I would have made it that far. Desiree saw Butler a few weeks ago at the same Kroger parking lot where he met her three kids, a moment that comes full circle. We brought a dozen donuts up to the sheriff's department to show our condolences. Um, my daughter made the decision to do that because he always made jokes about donuts. Records show Butler is the first Hillsdale County deputy to die in the line of duty since 1930. Sheriff Scott Hotshire wants to honor Butler by replacing the memorial out front. That stone out front looks like a headstone, and I don't like the looks of that. Um, what I'd like to do is a, a regular plaque that we can actually put on the wall. A small gesture for a man with a big impact on his neighbors. Just being there for family, friends, it's, it's an, you can't count that. In Hillsdale County, I'm Danny Valle, Fox 47 News.